I spent the weekend with prosecutors and statutory construction experts looking at the Missouri law. A woman can be prosecuted right now for taking anything or using any device that is not intended to increase the likelihood of survival of a fetus. That means anything that prevents implantation of a zygote or anything that prevents fertilization of an egg. So that means in Missouri right now, women can be prosecuted for IUDs, certainly for the morning after pill. I wanted to highlight some of the realities of the reversal of Roe v. Wade, specifically within my home state of Missouri, thinking about the millions of women who are going to have to be fearing for these types of things, including my two young nieces who are still way too young to even understand what's going on. But this is the world that they're going to grow up in a world where abortion and contraception is not federally protected. And the millions of other people, you know, again, not just within Missouri, but in red states all over the country. And this has always been the biggest concern of Roe being overturned. It's because if you get zealots in, in you know, positions like district attorney positions, where you get zealot prosecutors who are hell bent on religious ideas or just filled with hatred towards women or different types of ethnic groups, you better believe they're going to go after these kinds of people. Why? Because they can. And that's what's so dangerous about this precedent is that now people can do things like this. And they're lying about it. And they're trying to say because there's a throwaway line in one of the sections that she can't be prosecuted for conspiracy. But they never say she can't be prosecuted for the crime itself or for being an accessory to the crime. If you ask me, the biggest difference now in terms of how dangerous uh, abortion being not federally protected is compared to, you know, before 1973 is the technology that we have. You can surveil people in ways that you simply couldn't back in the 70s, that you simply couldn't back before applications and just instant communication was so widely available. We, we see how technology has made it much harder to just be a criminal in general, you know, people who may be a part of gang organizations, people who may deal in drugs. The feds can so easily just tap in and check out whatever you're doing. So apply that same level of organization, that same level of authority to the issue of abortion and contraception. They'll be able to tap into women's text messages, watch them through cameras if they want to. You know, what's stopping people from abusing their authority? What's stopping people from abusing the law? If, if it's legal for women to be prosecuted for contraception, if it's legal for them to be prosecuted for having an abortion at five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, then you better believe they're going to be getting prosecuted for it. I mean, that's all there is to it. And that's why they reversed Roe v. Wade, because they want to make an example out of women. And then the second definition gets into this contraception. It is unbelievably extreme what they've done in Missouri. And the governor put out a press release saying women couldn't be prosecuted. So they don't even want Missourians to know how far they've gone. But watch, there'll be a zealous prosecutor out there somewhere in red Missouri that will go after a woman on this basis. Thus far, as expected, the response from the White House has been lackluster. They have said that they uh, are in favor of increasing access to the abortion pill in red states with federal protections. We'll have to see what they do with that. They're not in favor of opening clinics on federal lands in red states. But uh, this morning, Joe Biden did mention that he is in favor of ending the filibuster in order to codify Roe v. Wade. However, that's not really up to him. So it sounds nice that he says that. But we know that Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin are staunchly against ending the filibuster, along with a few other Democrats as well in the Senate. And we know that the Biden administration is not going to threaten them or push them in any type of way to make them get in line. Also, Joe Biden is poised to nominate an anti-abortion judge to the Kentucky Circuit as part of a deal that he made with Mitch McConnell to where Mitch McConnell supposedly won't hold up any more judicial nominations. But we know that Mitch McConnell is a liar and a political hack. So with enough uproar from the liberal community, hopefully we can steer Biden away from this anti-abortion choice for the uh, Kentucky judicial court system. So, so far, that is what the White House has done about Roe v. Wade being overturned.